What is going on guys and welcome back to another fishing adventure. So we are up here enjoying the view, cooking up some gourmet ramen. We got some ramen cooking up here. We got some hatch chilies and some cooked walleye here. And we were about to make some gourmet ramen noodles. But first, we need to jump back to yesterday where we actually caught all the fish. Got one. Yep, on the reel up. <laughs> They're right here, bro. Yeah, throw on a little jig or something. Oh, nice sand bass. Sand bass on the bonehead tackle, baby. I was uh, reeling up, kind of see where I was, and this guy just hammered it. Thank you, dude. That's a keeper that will go in the live well. We're eating, Dave. We're not cooking up today, but you know what I mean. Where's the tacos at? You get hit? Oh, Dave. Dave is pulling out of his mouth, but back to back bites, baby. We we're about to hit my freaking trolling motor's dead. My batteries are done for. We're kind of coasting to the bank here, which is not good, not what we want, but we are getting bites right here. It's close to the bank. Well, we got one in the box here, Dave. Let's see, what does that mean? Uh, 49 more sand bass to go? Yeah. <laughs> 49 more to go. Oh gosh. <laughs> it's a spinner. Dave always catching the giants. <laughs> Hey, it's a fish. On? Oh my god, Dave. That looks massive. It's a little fella, but he hit it pretty hard. God, your pole was so bent. <laughs> I was like, giant, dang. Hey, I told you that spoon would be fire. What, with that red hook? Yep. You wanna keep him? Yeah, throw him in the lab well. I'll keep him if you don't. He's alright. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Alright, so Dave was just trolling this crankbait here. And we caught a walleye. You'll have to make tacos for next time. Another fish in the lab well, baby. All right, guys, I dropped down my minnow. My GoPro was dead, but I uh, set the hook, did not feel anything, set my pole back down, and I saw my pole just dip down, and this walleye took it. Not a bad walleye. This is my second walleye of the year. That is so bad. God, man, we used to catch walleye all day out here. It's kind of, they kind of disappeared, but they're slowly coming back, man. That's a thing. Nah, he ain't that big. He's a good eater size, but he's not like measurable size, you know? Oh, I still got my freaking minnow, what? Yeah, guys, as y'all just saw, I don't know if y'all saw it because the GoPro was dead, but, thank you, man. But we were, oh man, we're not really stacked like we were, but this entire screen was just fish. That was insane. On? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, we were stacking these walleye. That's a walleye. Sand bass? Yeah, buddy. All right, we're in the fish now, Dave. Into the fish, buddy. That's what we needed. My freaking trolling motor is dead. One of my batteries is dead, so it will not turn on at all. So we're just kind of just drifting with the wind. Luckily, it was a calm day today, but the wind is picking up now. But... We're still doing what we can. We're still catching fish. Caught a few so far, so. Another fish in the live well. Yep. You're bit? You getting bit? Yeah. God, I feel like it's they feel big? Um, Another walleye, baby. <laughs> Feels so good to see walleye, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Whew. Was that on the, the minnow? Yep. Bounce them off the ball. Oh, again. dude, they're jumping everywhere. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. All right, we found a walleye spot. Time to catch some more walleye this year. Man, if only we could spot off right there. How many we got in there? You know? Two, three, two or three, I think. I think we have three. I got two. Yeah, we should have three in there. Three walleye, two salmon bass. We need some bigger ones. We need some fucking six pounders right now. I know it. There we go. Yeah. A oh, little guy, come on. Little fella. Little turd. What are you doing, guy? Alright, we're at 40 feet. You wanna go back in a little or? Yeah, we need to go back in already. 
We don't want to be over these small fish. Oh, hear that bust out there? I'm gonna make a cast. got bit yep oh my gosh look at that little guy if I hold it like this it's about the same size as you jeez man I can slap that guy on the pan just kidding he's not legal yeah, I don't know what's going on with your shit but it looks different <laughs> that's fucking fish freaking stacked up oh my god we shouldn't, there's no reason we're not catching fish right now. <laughs> Maybe drop it down lower. I dropped mine down way over there and probably not on bottom. Oh my god, dude, there's no way. <laughs> That's that winter shit though. Like I'll be just stacked around fish and nothing. They won't take shit. Who I bait, nothing. At least we're not there yet. At least they're still taking them. Still catch the dumb ones, you know. You want some of this fish? I got two walleyes in there. You want the rest of them? Yeah, I can do that. That'll get leave me enough for what I want to do. Yeah. Let's do it. That'd be perfect for me you can take too. the you can take the two bigger walleye that I caught. Yeah. <laughs> How about I take the two smaller ones? That'd be funny. No, 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 no. You take, take the, the bigger one. Isn't that three in there? Yeah. I'll take the two smaller ones. You sure? Is that enough? Yeah. All right, so we just caught the fish and now I want to make a gourmet ramen soup. Is that even possible? Gourmet ramen? I don't know, but we're doing it. So I need to run to the store real quick, get some hatched green chilies, some ramen, and we can start cooking up this fish. I was wanting the whole green chili, but they do not have it here. So we have to do with this diced green chilies. So it is super windy today, so a lot of this is going to be a voiceover to fix the audio. So I went home and cleaned the fish and then went to the store and got a few ingredients and we were back at the lake and we actually caught these fish right about there. Right where that boat is pretty much. But now we're about to cook up and eat the fish. We're going to get the stove out and put it right here on this table and cook up the fish and the soup with this amazing view. Alright, it is time to cook. So my inspiration for this meal is at United Street Market. They have a green chili chicken soup. Add some slap your mama to it and it is freaking amazing. It is my favorite. And every time I get it, I'm like, man, I wonder how this would taste with some fish in it. So that is what I am doing today. So first off, I need to cook the fish. So here is three pieces of the walleye that we just caught. We need to cook that up first. So let's turn on the stove. We got some butter here. Also, my GoPro is dead, so I'm doing all this one-handed while filming with my phone. Butter, slap your mama, and three beautiful walleye fillets. This is one of the fishes. It's actually probably one and a half sides of the walleye fillet, but look at that beautiful walleye meat. Walleye is so freaking good, man. And then add some slap your mama on top of that. So this walleye is going in a soup and I don't want full fillets. So I'm gonna break it up and that will also help it cook faster and more evenly. All right, the walleye is all done and getting crispy. I'm gonna try a piece. Mmm, so good and tasty. So before adding the water and soup, I tried to saute some of the green chilies, but with all the wind, it was impossible to get the pan super hot, so that didn't work. It's just taking so long to cook in this wind. I'm kind of worried about having to wait for the water to boil. Hopefully we don't run out of propane here. Just got the chilies in the bowl, and now it is time to boil some water for the soup. That should be enough there. I like to smash up my ramen. I can't eat it in full strands. You're a psychopath if you do. It is time to add the noodles. All right, so the noodles are starting to get soft. I'm gonna go ahead and add the fish and the ash green chilies. Stir all that together and let all them flavors marinate. I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more of these green chilies. I don't wanna add too much though. I also could have added more fish, but I don't know. 
This is just a experiment. I will see how it turns out this time and change the recipe as needed. It is time for the chicken flavor. At the store, I was like, man, should I get some chicken in this? Because the original soup I ate at the street market has chicken in it. I was like, dude, it's all chicken flavored soup. We don't need chicken. All right, we're gonna stir that up. While I'm stirring this, I'm gonna go ahead and add some Slap Your Mama to this as well. If you guys have not tried adding Slap Your Mama to your ramen noodles, you are missing out. Oh my God, it smells amazing. All right, I just drove down to the docks. There's still two people that I will watch and see if they catch anything as I eat this ramen. The whole way driving down, I was like, man, I wanna eat this so bad right now, but now we can eat. Here is our ramen. First time trying this, I wanna get a bite with a few chilies and a few pieces of fish and just see how it is. It smells good. It smells really freaking good. All right, we got fish, we got chilies, and we got ramen. Here we go. <laughs> oh my God. I don't want to stop eating it. It's so freaking good. It is very green chili. I did put a lot in there, but that's what I wanted. It is freaking good. This bite has a lot of walleye in it, so I'm gonna try it. You can taste the fish. I was a little worried with all the seasoning and green chilies that I wouldn't taste the fish, but I definitely can. But next time, I'm definitely gonna add probably another walleye to this or another fish because it needs more meat, but it is freaking good. I don't see anyone setting the hooks, so it's probably not a good day for fishing. I kind of want to go out there and throw a few casts though, just to see what happens. And then I'm going to go home and make a new lure. On bad weather days where I can't fish, I make a lure. If you guys haven't checked out the new channel yet, go check it out. Random Lure Challenge. Go check it out, the link is in the description. But I'm starting to make lures, so if you guys are interested in that, go check out the new channel, go subscribe. Also guys, subscribe to this channel if you're new here. Here we do a bunch of catching cooks and fishing, making random meals like this. Gourmet ramen, we did it. I'm gonna go ahead and call this gourmet because it is freaking good. I